right? So the rest kind of works itself out. Yeah. You know, I mean, I'm, I, of course, you know, you're afraid because, because we don't know what's going to happen, right? What is it going to feel like? You know, I can, I can describe what it, how spirit makes me feel that they felt as they left the physical body, how peaceful it felt, how they really, they weren't suffering. The suffering was really watching their family, watch them be sick. You know, I still don't want to know what that's like. Right. But we all fear the unknown. So that's why, listen, I go to the doctor all the time. Call me a hypochondriac. I don't care. <laughs> I, I get it. Right. So I, I, I get like it. The things that I fear and, and I like I'm afraid of the dentist. How many people raise your hand right now? Are you afraid of the dentist? So I literally I go to the dentist every three months to have my teeth cleaned because I'm so afraid of the dentist. So now it's like, oh, I'm going to the dentist. It's, you know. And we always joke. He always says to me, he goes, oh, my God. He goes, I dread the day. You need a root canal <laughs> for a filling. <laughs> I don't particularly like the dentist either. Right? It's not my favorite. No, because we don't know what it's going to be like, right? It's scary. It's sounding of the drill, the this and this. But if you expose yourself to it, they, you, you become be less so afraid. afraid. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, the last time you were here, just I'm switching gears now. The last time you were here, we talked about how you were just starting to date someone or you were in the midst of dating someone. How's all yep. that going, Teresa? It's still going good. <laughs> still going, still going great. You know, just figured, you know, I see pictures of your children on your Instagram. I mm -hmm. see pictures of you at Club Q mm -hmm. with the drag queens. I see. Pictures oh, of my you. favorite thing in the universe. <laughs> <laughs> that that looked like a fun night. Yes, yes. Oh, come on. Who doesn't love Tina Burner? Tina Burner is one of the best pleasures. Uh, We're lucky that she's in our backyard, right? Yes. Oh my God. We did did you see how the bitch stole Christmas? No. Did you get to go see it? No. Oh my God. It was it was hilarious. It was just, it was, it was amazing. It was so good. It's in Club Q is a fun place. Yes. Yeah, so I've never been there before. Oh, really? So it was, yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. Yeah. It's come out of nowhere and it's it's kind of a fun place. Yeah, it's fun. What about like what are your guilty pleasures? Like I know last time you said you don't watch a lot of TV. Like, do you watch any TV, movies, music? Do you have any guilty pleasures <laughs> besides drag queens? I I was literally is, just gonna is, say I, I don't even know. I I wouldn't even I'm not even guilty about it. <laughs> I just love, I, I, I literally, there are times where I'm like, you know what? I, I am a drag queen. I am a woman, but I feel like I'm a drag queen. Like I've been, I've been sealing my makeup with hairspray since the eighties. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, I just, I don't know. I just, you know, what it is. I just, I love, I, I would have to say also like, like shopping for me. Like I love, I, I love shopping, um, and eating. So I think that, and I gained 15 pounds. So I would say eating would be a guilty pleasure. <laughs> I, I gained weight during COVID too. And well, here's the crazy thing. I did not gain weight during COVID. It's after because now really? it's like, yes, because I find myself like we're able to get together with people, you know, so it's like, oh, so, and what is there to do? Right. We're eating. We're out. Let's have a glass of wine. Let's have a martini. Right. So we're just eating. And I just, I just said, you know what? I'm going to enjoy life. You know, I, I, that's how I feel. I, I live to eat. I don't eat to live. <laughs> there are definitely two types of people. And I, and I think most of the people I'm friends with live to eat. Yes. Or, it's the best right? thing. Like, and, we, and we live in New York. So like we have, we're like so spoiled, right? Do you have a favorite like type of food or favorite restaurant in New York? I, I do. What is it? It's Scarpetta. That's a good one. I love, and I followed them all when they were on 14th street. Now they're in the James hotel. I was just going to ask you, did you go to the old Scarpetta on four? Yes. That's, that's that to me is still what I, that's the real Scarpetta, but I, I do accept the new Scarpetta too. But I will say, even though the staff has changed, that is the one restaurant that no matter who's in there, they are amazing. And it's just a great, and then they have, you know, the little club downstairs, the Seville. It's all great, right? It's, it's like all, it's all great. I haven't been down to the club since, you know, um, COVID, but I was just there with uh, my kids last week for dinner. The, the, actually the picture that I posted to me and my son yesterday, or, uh, 
a couple of weeks ago. I think I saw um, that. We were in Scarpetta. We, I'm, uh, he was at the, at, uh, we just dropped him back off at the apartment, but we had, we were just at Scarpetta that night. So. Such a good restaurant. It's one of, it's one of my favorite restaurants. I, I love it. Um, and, and also the polo bar. I love the polo bar. That's a good one too. Yeah. I love it there. What about shopping? Cause you mentioned shopping. Do you have like, if you could only wear one brand for the rest of your life, I know it's a, someone asked me this when I was on another podcast. Okay. I'm that's like, an awful is, question. It's that awful. is it. You're mean right now, David, you're being mean. <laughs> one. I don't know if I have like a favorite brand. Um, well, I'm going to have to say only one brand. Oh, just one. Oh, they've been. It's, it's hard. I mean, maybe two, but like really one. Okay, I'll get. I'll, 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 oh God, you could do two, because I am. Okay, I'm gonna. Two. I'm gonna have to say because this year, I mean, they, everything's just been fitting me amazing, and like I said, I had gained weight, but I still feel good. Is Dolce? Okay. And uh, I don't know how to pronounce this designer, but it's called Dre's. How do you pronounce it? Dre's. I think I'm wearing a shirt right now from them. Uh, do you think I could see that? I can't. What, I can't even imagine. What's the name of that? I, but we who, need, I, I don't we know. Need this Lindsay not, for this we one. need Lindsay for this one. I don't think it's Lindsay this, this solves place. everything. No, it's not. This is Gianni. Um, but Dre, you know, the shirt that I wore on Kelly on live with Kelly and Ryan, and then Kelly wanted to know who the designer was. It's, I mean, wait, if I'll Kelly right approves of it, it has to be good, right? Yeah. Dre's, Dre's man, it, it's sleeveless. And it has the blue neck on it. It's this is just. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, it should be in the second glass cabinet. I get total closet, and I get I, this is like a real tour of the closet now because now I'm seeing like the doors opening. Wait, the fact that I know where this top is, it's got. Is it more to the left lens? I can't even picture what that would be like a, with starting with a D. Yes. Yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Is it here in the? Is it's it like, this first one? Yeah, everything's color coordinated. But anyway, it's called Dre's. I can't pronounce it. Dre's. I follow them uh, on Instagram. I, I can't even picture what it would be. I mean, I'm Dolce, gonna, I know, obviously. So, yeah. I, um, but I have to say, like, Dre's Von Note. Yeah. Oh, wow. Let's well, that, see. That's nice. This, this is the oh, top. wow. But no, it's very. Dre's Von Noten. Okay. That would have to be because every, I mean, just, and you know what? Not expect, like, uh, very affordable. And I'm all about, like, I I could start pulling out my my shirts from Target, like, any second. So yeah, I might have, like, a Chanel jacket, a Balmain, but then right next to it, uh, oh, yeah, there's a couple of Target blazers, you know, that's what I, I am, love. I'm so the same way. I'm, like, high end, low end. Like, that's my style. My, my high-end things that I have, but they're staple pieces. They're things that I've had for like years. Like some things I've had for like 13 years. Like I've had, there are some blazers that I have here that are like 15 years old. So, and I, and they're, they, 